you guys happy thursday thursday and welcome back to another daily vlog so it is currently 12 o'clock i was trying to get dressed and have my clothes on by 11 30 so i could go out and run some errands but i'm not going to be able to do it now because i have a meeting at one and if i didn't have to present i would take the chance but i have to present so we're just going to have to wait till after to run some errands and I have a lot of errands to run. I am out of <laughs> a lot of stuff and uh, I need to do better but we're going to get that together this week. Um, so I'm just getting dressed. I'm about to put on my sneaks of the day which are my pumas here. I need to clean these off um, a little bit. I wish they were all leather but this is kind of like suede my blue ones are all leather all the way around so it would be easier to wipe off but I need to get like some faux suede cleaner for these maybe because I'll be wearing the heck out of those these right here for sure and then if I go out I want to give me a pair of shades because I think it's cold out but I think it's like mm, what do you think about these I think these are kind of cute but we'll see what we decide to take out y'all I cannot find my other blue light glasses the speckled ones the, the tortoiseshell ones i'm mad they were expensive but every time i lose them i end up finding them but i need to do better about putting them back they're either in the pocket of something or somewhere in my car maybe under the seat and i just haven't looked very well i think i've looked in all of my purses but i need to find them because they was expensive okay um yeah so that's that. So what has been going on since we got back from New York? Everything is going super fast since we got back from New York. You guys know this is Jalen's senior year of high school. So now we are literally down to the wire. She has one more month of school and then she is done unless she decides to go to college. Which I don't think she's decided yet. She's child is so indecisive. But I'm not going to talk about it. She can do what she want to do with her life. It's hers. Um... So basically this week she's getting her hair braided because prom is next week. Can y'all believe it? Prom is here already. Like I remember us talking about and searching for a dress like seems like yesterday we had the dress uh, drama and debacle. But the dress is here. All of her accessories are here. Um, we booked the, the makeup artist and all the things and now it is time for prom next week. Crazy right? And then she came home Monday with her cap and gown. Oh my gosh. It's getting surreal. She came home with her cap and gown. And, um, uh oh, where's my shoestring at? Sorry, y'all. She came home with her cap and gown. And she's like, oh my God, mom, I only have so long. I'm like, yeah, girl, I told you it would go out fast. Feels like it's forever. But when it start coming, it's like nonstop. Everything's coming all at the same time. Nothing. And you know, Jalen gets overwhelmed sometimes. So she's a little overwhelmed, a little emotional. Um, but I think she's excited. So that's coming up. So after prom, it's like down to the wire. It's like wars day, the final exams, graduation, boom, done and over, son. Um, so she's super excited. So I just got up this morning, as you guys saw. Um, I did do my 30 minute walk and so that's why it took me a little bit longer to get dressed today because Jayla missed the bus. And this is another reason why I'm so ready for her to get out of school. I'm so tired of getting up for that damn bus at 630 in the morning. For her just to miss the shit. Okay. <laughs> just for her to miss it. Especially when I work from home. Like when I work from home, I'm not trying to get her up and be on time. Like, and I should, I probably should, but the girl needs to be responsible at some point in her life, right? Um, but the days I have to go to work, like I have to get her up because her brother's going to be like, I'm not taking her to school every day, you know, and I don't blame him. You try to get your ass up. Your mama already going out the house, like get together. Um, but she missed the bus this morning. So I had to take her all the way to school or whatnot. So that threw me off track of walking for my 30 minutes and getting my shower in before my first morning meeting that was at 9 a.m. So that's why we are running behind this morning. But it is what it is. Everything shall get done as it needs to be um, done. Excuse my hair, y'all. I think I am going to go 
and I think I'm gonna braid it this weekend. So yeah, so that's what's going on with the child of mine and the bus stop issues, which we've been fighting with since the day she started getting on the bus. Okay, being late, that part. Um, you guys saw me strip my bed down this morning. Went to wash my sheets. <laughs> we have no more washing powder. Surprise, surprise. No more washing powder. Um, so, can't wash no sheets. So, I need to go refill on our washing powder. What else? I need to go and get my cash envelope money. I need to do my budgets. Which went to holy hell doing New York. Not too bad, but bad. Um, and what else? I think that's it. Oh no, like I said, Jalen's getting her hair braided. So I do need to go to the beauty supply store and get her her braiding hair. Because she get her hair braided on Saturday. And I think I'm going to buy me some more Marley twist hair. And I think I'm going to twist my hair up this weekend. I don't want to get a relaxer. But I'm tired of doing my hair because when I sweat, like because I'm so many months post, it poofs up all right here. And it's just really getting on my nerves. But I know I want to get braids. So I'm like, I'm not going to relax my hair before I get braids. Don't make any sense. Why well, waste a good relaxer when you just want to stretch it out some more? Anyway, Kyosha, so I've been waiting um, to see if I was going to get it braided by somebody or if I was going to do it myself. These people out here tripping. These people don't want no money. They don't want no service. They don't want no business. So guess what? I shall be doing it myself, and it just is what it is. So um, I'm trying to decide if I want to uh, dabble in trying to do box braids myself. I've never done box braids. I might watch a couple of videos, but I don't know if I really want to experiment. I think I want to just do what I know how to do and be done with it. And I think that's what we're going to do because I don't have time. I don't have time to be playing around and then it look a mess and then I have to take it out and waste a bunch of money. I don't feel like doing that at this moment in time. Uh, so we're not going to do it. But I am finally out the shower, up and dressed. And this is my outfit for the day. I think I'm going to make me an iced chai, even though it is still chilly outside. The high today is only 60 something and the wind is like really blowing. It's like 10 to 15 miles per hour winds or whatever going on outside, child. But um, let me see if I can show you my outfit. Y'all, I'm really just debating on switching things around. I want to be able to just show you guys my outfit and make my vlog seem a little bit more seamless and not all over the place. So I'm just trying to figure it out. So if I'm like debacle for a little while just don't mind me i'm gonna get it together okay it may take a minute maybe this whole month to get it together but i'm gonna get it together oh i can't wear these socks they are already going down into the shoe damn <sighs> see what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about so don't mind the debacle that's going on in my life at the moment okay just know that we're gonna, we gonna get it together one day and that's it so hope y'all can see the outfit because my little light is not lighting me so i'm just a mess this morning but this is the outfit. I'm going to come in as close as I can and see if it's going to focus in a little bit for me. Are you going to focus for me, please? A, a little bit more light? There's a little bit more light. Okay. So, this, these necklaces are all from Living Fearless except this one. This one's from my shop sold out. Earrings are from my shop sold out. Same bracelets. Same watch. Every freaking vlog. I know you're like, girl, do something else. That's all I got. Um, <laughs> then this shirt. I really love this shirt. I did get it in a small from Target because the underarm was like going down too much if I got a bigger size. These are like a sleeveless mock neck and it's not a bodysuit. It's just rush ruching on the side if you wanted to wear it outside of your jeans but I just put, tucked them into my jeans and then I have on my black Amber Crombie jean dad jeans with the button fly. My favorite. My favorite y'all. Um, and then I have on the Pumas that I just showed you guys. So that is the outfit. So when I run out, I'll most likely put on my Target. Um, ooh, I might either put on my Target um, bomber jacket or the new one I got from Azara when I was in, I was, no, H&M when I was in New York. And I still have to do a haul for you guys. Oh my gosh, I have to do a haul for you guys. So I think we have an hour. Let me go ahead and do a haul for you. Let me set it up and I'll do a haul for you. And then you'll see how the pieces fit. I'll do like a try on on the side. Um, I'll probably record that another day to be honest. So I'll probably look different, maybe even have braids by then. <laughs> But I will haul for you and then I will show you what each little piece looks like on. And then, um, yeah, so you guys can see what I picked up in New York. So let's do that right quick while I have time before my meeting. All right, y'all. Let's just sit here and do this little haul for y'all right quick. Just sitting right in front of my little door here in my bedroom. 
So the first thing, well not the first thing, but it's not in any particular order. But I got this scarf, Burberry inspired, off of the side of the road when we came out of the Statue of Liberty um, in Liberty Park. It was cold in New York. You guys know I did not have a um, a scarf, but I did have a hat. And it is 20% cashmere and 80% Vicose Italy design, dry clean or hand wash, blah, 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 made in China. But it is Burberry inspired and I really liked it. I really like the Burberry print. Um, Alicia has this Burberry cardigan that I want so bad, but that damn thing is expensive. I mean, I would rock the hell out of that cardigan, but I, I can't do it. Maybe I can find it second hand somewhere, maybe on Poshmark a little bit cheaper, but it's so cute and she wears it all the time and I'd be just as jealous. I need to go over there and steal it from her, but she gonna come hunt me down for that one. So <laughs> let me not, maybe she'll let me borrow it. But anyway, and then you guys know I've been looking for a New York hat. I have a LA black and white hat. And I haven't been able to find a New York one. So that same vendor had a New York hat that looks like this. It just says NY and then it has New York spelled out here. She had an all black version. But I wanted the black and white version. And this is not truly the one I wanted. But this one will do. Um, and if I see the one I truly wanted then I'll get it. But it fits real good. I love that the bill of it is already curved because y'all know I don't do no straight bill on no hat if you wear a straight bill hat something wrong with you just so you know um and we're not gonna argue about it <laughs> and then the next thing I got y'all I know don't say nothing I know winter time is over and it's spring headed into summer and summer's like right over there but this jacket was $29 okay this jacket was $29 from marked down from $79.90 okay and I do not have an overcoat in this color okay and so I picked it up so it's basically this overcoat that has a uh, like brown buttons it is a natural color so a very light color everything I have is either tan or beige or black or um like a grayish color or charcoal um type color but i don't have like a neutral natural color if that if you know what i mean i call this like a light beige almost off-white cream type um overcoat and it has like the deep pockets i love it comes with this please so if you live in a colder climate you can buckle it like at the neck and it'll keep your neck warm and won't let the air in and then it does come with a belt. The only thing it does not come with is, oh, it does. I thought it didn't have the belt loops. I was like, you could lose it, but it does have the belt loops. So belt loops, but there's no like, um, what you call it? Ruching thing in the back. You know, some of them come with the back so you can kind of cinch it in, but you can use your belt to cinch it in if you don't want to close it. But y'all, this is so nice and it's nice and good weight as well and it fits so good so i picked that up because it was 29 dollars so i was like sign me up sissy um and then the next thing i got is actually a set and oh wait so that shirt okay so the jacket was from a place called gu tokyo to soho but while i was in the store they said uniqlo actually bought them so when you check out your receipt says uniqlo so i don't know if it's on the Uniqlo website or not, I don't think it is. But because they just got bought out and they didn't hadn't changed the name or taken it over yet. Besides in the receipt area. So I can't tell you what's going on with that. And then the next thing is a set. This is from the true Uniqlo store that I picked these up. And it is these knit pants. It's like a loungewear set. It's nice and heavy weight. Probably not summer um, good. But I am always cold. So I will walk around in the house with anything um and this is made in vietnam i got an extra large is rayon polyester and nylon um the the pants only cost 29.90 um uniqlo has very reasonable prices is what i'm finding out and i'd be real surprised when i see stuff because when you go to the store you get something like this from zara or freaking even h and they want to charge you like 59.99 and shit and 39 49.99 and these were only 29 99 and they are long and they're like a good lounge what set for me to lounge around the house in so i did get the pants for that and the extra large and then i got the actual tops that go with it in a medium because i want to wear it as a shirt as well so i can wear it as a set or i can wear it with like a pair of jeans like this pair of jeans as a shirt and go out during the spring and or even wear it open and have like a tank top so it, i can wear this multiple ways you guys know 
I'm a capsule wardrobe girl, so I am literally trying to maximize the different ways that I can wear one item and I can think I can wear this item several different ways. So I did pick it up in that color. Unfortunately, they did have the gray top, but they did not have the gray bottoms in the store. So I wasn't able to get the set because I showed what got the set. Okay, so the tops were $39.90, which is really crazy because I think they know you can wear this in separate ways. They charge you less for the pants, but more for the top. <laughs> make it make sense. I don't know. <sighs> Child. Anyway, so $39.90 for the top. And then I got it in this like nice dark charcoal color, which will go really good like with my black jeans and a pair of sneakers so, or any colored pants or whatever. So I did get it in this color. And I'm thinking about going online and seeing if they have the matching bottom to it. And then I can have two loungewear sets. And then the next thing I got from Uniqlo was these um, white women's pleated wide trousers. So wide trousers means it's like wide down the leg, but not wide legged. Um, they're straight leg. And you guys see me wear all of my Uniqlo. I have a black, I have a light brown, I have a dark brown, or like a camel color. And then you guys know I was searching for the, um, what do you call them? The gray ones and they've been sold out online everywhere i did pick them up as well i'll show them to you in a minute but i did not know they had a white pair i think the white pair was sold out online everywhere as well or i didn't want to pick them up i don't know what it was but when i was in the store i was like oh they got the white ones let me go ahead and get it it's going to be summer and spring and this is going to be a vibe for like a nice uh light weight color and stuff to wear out and then i do get them in an extra large even though i think i could get them in a large but i want the the thigh to sit to fit a certain weight so i might have to get the i always say i'm gonna get my waist taken in i ain't getting no waist taken in i just wear it as it is i just put a belt on it if it look weird and maybe i should get the waist taken in but <laughs> maybe one day i'll be that person i'm not that person today just to be honest and then i did finally find the gray ones now they do have this is the darker gray color. They do have two different gray colors. They have a lighter version of this gray. It's more like a heather gray. This is more like a charcoal gray. And so I'm still waiting for that pair. They did not have both pair in the store, but they did have this pair in the store. So I did pick them up and I already worn, as you saw in the New York vlog, already worn, fits perfect, very comfortable, love them. So then I picked that up. Then, then everything else I think is from H&M. Oh no, and then I did get this shirt from that same store I got that coat from, and it was on clearance too. It was $29.90, but I don't think I paid $29.90 for it. I think it was like $15 or something like that. And it's a crop button up, you guys. Y'all know I love a good button up shirt. And this one's like cropped, and it's not too cropped. I did get it in an extra large, so I'm praying that it don't show my belly too much. But if it do, we're just going to have to figure it out because it's just too cute not to get, right? So look. I do not have a cropped button-up shirt. Like, this is going to be so bomb, you guys. I can't wait. So cute to try that on for you guys. I haven't even tried it on yet, so that's uh, another thing. And then here's the jacket that I picked up from H&O that I was telling you guys. So it is a, like a faux linen or, yeah, or linen blend bomber jacket. And this is what I was talking about wearing today when I run out and run errands. It fits so good, you guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. It's like the perfect length. The sleeves are amazing. I don't, it has pockets and it snaps instead of zips up so you can snap it. And it has like the little thing around here and around there. Super cute. Quick to throw on. Put on my Uniqlo crossbody bag or either my Kate Spade bag. And we. Are good to go so yeah i love this one so that's that and then the last thing i got was what i was talking about in new york when i wanted the um these pants so these pants are so cute Jalen ended up getting a pair as well what i love about them it comes already cuffed so i think for some reason when i tried them on the cuff kind of did some weird shit i don't know where it's supposed to be cuffed to it has no like rhyme or reason but what i like about it is you can uncuff them so if you're somebody who's tall and it's too short when you cuff it you can uncuff it and you have some nice wide leg now, it's straight leg but wider straight leg but it does have like a place where you can you know where the cuff goes but it's really supposed to be worn cuff and they had like a matching jacket to it and i was going to pick it up but you guys know when i did my jacket video or my spring wear outerwear video 
I already have a light like jacket top type situation jean that I got from Molly Green and I, even though it's not the same color and I don't think the two jackets were the, the jacket and the in the pants were the same color either in the store I can't remember um, I think I can wear that with it and I don't need to spend any more money so yes yeah, so I don't think I'm going to buy the jacket because you know you really don't need both when I especially when I have something so similar to it I don't need another one but I love these and so the, they were sold out online and they didn't have them in the first store that I went to and then they ended up having them in the second store and they had only one size left in a 12 so I knew they was meant for me so I picked them hoes up and I do not regret it a bit but I do have to get rid of a pair of jeans and I do think I know which pair of jeans I'm going to get rid of to replace these so I'm not too upset because I was thinking about getting rid of them anyway um so yeah so they look like this and then they have the big cuff so cute and even like the seam inside has like a nice little detail on one side of the seam it's not on both sides it's just on the outside one so you can see the detail and so i really like that as well and just to give it a unique but yeah they're super cute and they were 54.99 i think right now they're on sale on the site and i'm pissed like they like 20 percent off bastards bastards soon as you buy something 20% off you know what I'm saying so like I said I did get a size 12 so that's for reference but that's everything I picked up in the NYC not too much it was still expensive I think I spent like maybe $300 maybe four on all of this um so yeah let me get my life together um I wanted to pick up lunch so I'm going to wait because I want to go and get me some green acres chicken while I'm out since the beauty supply store is over there so I might give me a little snacky snack right quick and then um we'll pick up a full lunch later so I will check in with you guys in a bit guys today has been a crazy busy so excuse me for not being on here as much as I probably need to be um for a daily vlog but we are gonna do some little errands today so i should be able to get a little bit more content like i said i wanted to go during my little break but i didn't have time by the time i took a shower and got ready my other meeting was starting and then my other meeting ran on and now i have to attend another meeting so we basically just gonna go when we get Jalen out of school and the bad thing about it is i have not started editing tomorrow's vlog and you guys that is the new york like bulk of the new york vlog so it's going to take me forever to edit so i'm going to have to set aside some time tonight to get that at least halfway edited i need to at least get like the first so it's only um let's see we went on a tuesday tuesday's out so wednesday thursday friday and saturday is just a little bit of clip so it's three full days which is just like a weekend vlog but it was there's a lot more going on because we were out of town. It's not my typical normal weekend vlog, right? It's going to be a travel vlog. So hopefully I can get some of that done this evening. Um, so I'm going to have to stay up a little later because like I said, I went to wash my sheets this morning. Didn't have any washing powder. Um, I My stomach is growling. I have not eaten today. I wanted to make me an iced chai. Didn't get to do that. It's such a beautiful day though that I know when we get out there, we're just going to be out and I don't need to be out, y'all. I need to be in here working. <laughs> and so, yeah, but I am looking for me a new tripod. So I bought that tripod from Walmart. And for some reason, it won't screw into the bottom of my camera anymore. And the one that I have right here, it's just too tall to be like walking around vlogging with. I want something that's a little bit more low profile. So I need to be looking for that. I gave it to Jalen and it works perfect for her and her vlogging camera if she ever decides to start a YouTube channel and ever put up the footage y'all still looking for it because i'm still looking for it too i don't know what to tell you I, i'm trying to encourage her but she she a teenager y'all she a teenager i have no control over that um what else is going on i think that's it so i need to go to this meeting because i have to present and hopefully it's not too long um i'm gonna let my manager know now that if i don't make it to the meeting to cover for me because it's also the time that I pick up Jalen from the bus stop and I don't have any service over there. So yeah.
need my ducks in a row to be able to start wrapping this up because basically I'll probably pick up Jalen, bring her back to the house, let her drop off her stuff. Probably uh, get my wallet and my ID. Hopefully we can make it to the bank before the bank closes today. I need to balance my budget. Like y'all, coming off of vacation sometimes is just not the best. Like I love going on vacation, but the cleanup, the aftermath of going on vacation is not fun. Like you gotta clean up at work. You gotta, not necessarily clean up at home, but you may be out of stuff. You may need to run errands and do this and that. And it's just, it's a lot, it's a lot. But we still shall go on vacation though. <laughs> It's just have to deal with the aftermath um, of it. Let's see what else I got going on here. I don't usually have this many meetings on Thursday. So today has been very discombobulated. I've had like one, two, three, four. I have like five meetings a day. And usually Thursdays and Fridays are my light days. And yeah, they're over here trying to get their money worth out of me today. I'm not here for it. <laughs> that part. <laughs> But I will check in with you guys when we picked up Jalen um, and we're ready to go out and head and do some of these little errands that I need to do for her for this little prom situation, y'all. So I'll check in with you guys in a bit. All right, you guys. So this is my outfit of the day. So I have on these shades from C. I wear jewelry is from either Mari Rose or Alicia Shop Living Fearless. Watch is Nord Green. I have on, what is it? My Anthropology scent can't remember the name it's called sweet something i don't know uh bomber jacket is from h&m shirt is from target jeans are from um what's that place called dang amber combi the high the high rise dad jeans with a button fly and then we have on our pumas and then i have on my kate spade crossbody and i grabbed an extra battery I probably need to switch it out because this one's on 27%, but I'm not going to do it. So we're about to go and run these errands right quick. Come on, little one. Come on. And pick up this girl's stuff, child. She knows she be having me running all around everywhere, Miss Passenger Princess. You want to show them your outfit of the day, Passenger Princess? Yes, ma'am. Like, she about to get that hair done, so I excuse am. the excuse the, the, the chaos. I don't even know how it gets flat. What do you be doing? <laughs> you be doing it like that? Don't do that. You want oh, to it's, it. it's gonna stick out like that. Yes. That was the hand. Oh my god. <laughs> That's because it used to slip forward. What do you been doing to it? Nothing. It don't hang forward no more. You did something to mold it like that. <laughs> anyway, tell me what you got on. All right, so <laughs> all right, so I got me some cargo pants, and I actually bought them from New York, uh, from Uniqlo, I think. Yeah. And I got on this uh, little sweater that's from Shein, actually. And I got on these little earrings that are from Shein. This necklace was give um, was from Alicia Shop. The Living Fearless Collection. Yeah. And then I got some makeup on. And these shoes I got from the shoe racks. You not gonna bring your wallet or your purse then? My wallet's right here. I feel like bringing my purse. That big old purse, I don't you. Know. You can bring your crossbody, a black one. Oh yeah, you can. I can bring my little panty. Mm -hmm. You see she ain't vlogging either. <laughs> oh child. All right, close the door when you come out. Oh. We'll turn the alarm on, then close out the door now. <laughs> Loser. <sighs> Y'all, it's such a beautiful day. My little things here have bloomed, but I really want to cut that down. Like, I don't like these flowers. I don't like them because they don't stay bloomed the whole season. They literally bloom in spring, and then they die, and then it's just a regular bush. I really want to take them up and put maybe some hydrangeas or something else there because I want it to be something that's all summer long. I just don't want to look at no bush. Okay, that part. But my grass needs to cut. The lawnmower won't start. Chow, chow. It probably needs another uh, carpet. Whatever that was I fixed last summer. I think that's what it needs. So 
so I might be, I might pick one up tomorrow. No, tomorrow's not. I keep thinking tomorrow's Saturday, but it's not Saturday. Today is only Thursday, y'all. So Saturday I'll probably pick up one. Maybe tomorrow if I have time. I don't think I will though. Um, and see if we can get this lawnmower cranking up, baby. But let's go and run some errands and get some things and do the stuff and be the people. <laughs> so I'll check in with you guys. So first we're going to Target. I told you guys I need a new mini tripod. And they got one on sale for $16. They said they had one left. But I wanted to see something else too. So if they have that one, I'm going to pick it up. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to check out the finery perfumes that everybody's been talking about. Hope they have it here. They said they did. But I hope they have testers. Everywhere don't have testers. So let's go to Target. Let's go to Target. Yay! Target! Target be having your head broke. Target be like, buy all the shits. Oh, that's cute. What are these? Are these notebooks? Oh, it's a fake box. Damn. Oh, I saw these. I thought these were cute. A little trinket box. Trinket. Uh-huh. You put your little trinkets in? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. This is cute if you, like, had this on your table for, like, your remotes. But I don't like none of these colors, though. I mean, look at you. <laughs> they got 4th of July stuff out already? I guess so, yeah. Dang. We ain't even made the June yet. Right. Baby, they be... Fabric food color. What's uh, this? A fruit basket. Earth friendly crossword puzzle. How nice. Goggles. Goggles. Time for pool season. Pool season. I think I ain't got nothing else in here that I wanted. It's a bunch of crap. Just a bunch of they just threw stuff in this one. Uh, this is usually where they have other, like the little mini umbrellas mm -hmm. and stuff. But they got a fan. Why well, he look like this? <laughs> don't make fun of him. What if he was just born? Why like, well, is it upside down? A Bluetooth for your car. Foldable fan. Oh, let me see. Open that one up. Now this might know. be something I want to get. I don't know how to count. Damn. Are you? Open? I don't know. I'm in the same boat you in. Let me sit y'all up here. Hope y'all don't fall. Uh, dang. There we go. How you do that? Right. That's a little knot, right? There. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I expect you to see that. cute. But you need batteries. And they put a stupid screw in the battery so you'll never be able to get it out. Y'all know them, when them little teeny screws you can't get out. What does it take? What kind of batteries? Is it double A, triple A? Uh, do not mix batteries. It doesn't say what size batteries it takes. It's only three dollars. Mm. In my opinion, it's not. Good. You already got a cute fan, but she won't let me have. But don't never fucking use it. Um, first of all, it's mine, and I'm not gonna use it because it's freaking cold outside right now. Whatever. Let's go find all the things that we're looking for. Let's go. I'm like different little things. Oh, that's cute. This is freaking cute. It's $1.99. Oh my god. Oh. Damn. Did I open the box like that? Yeah. yeah. You think this is too big to be walking around in? Hold on. No, I'm not. Uh, I don't think so, no. Like it, I'll return that bitch. Oh, oh. You could always return it. They didn't have the one that I wanted for sixteen dollars, y'all. Oh, they said they only had one left, but you don't need a new one. You just need a damn um, get the stuff off of you. The one you got. We need to set up your stuff. Yeah, but remember, my little thing doesn't have the whatever USB. Whatever I told you I had to get the USB mm -hmm. thing. Now it won't even fit in here. How do you get that in there? <laughs> Lord, Lord have mercy on I don't open this whole stuff and can't get it back in the box. <laughs> We're just gonna push it down into the cold. Hold on. Hold on. Hold that for me. Alright, let's go to the beauty makeup area because that's what'll be the perfume too.
They don't smell good to me at all. I don't like none of them. They need to have like a tester strip things that you can do like this, but they don't have those. I don't like any of these. I don't like none of them. I thought I would like flowers. But it's too bright. See, look. They don't have a dark one? Anywhere in nobody's? I thought I would like flower bed, you guys, but I don't like this one either. It has peony in it, but I think it's the apple. Because I love the peony smell, because that's what I have in, uh, in the one from Anthropology. I don't know, you like this one? I like that one. It smells like something you would like. This is the body mist, it's not the perfume. So the perfume smells like this. I might Sweet. like this flower bed, you guys. What color is that? It's like a red. Like a red? Like a See? What the? That smell like food. It don't smell like the other one. Food? I don't smell no food. Maybe you got a different smell than I do. I'm not smelling that. No. Right now, I'm looking at some kind of body chemistry. Wave it a little bit. Wave your arm. I'm not smelling food. Yeah, it smells like, like food. It smells like fruit. Food. It's green apple. I told you. Oh. <laughs> I knew I smelled it. Yeah, I got too much of green apple and I'm like, yeah. Oh well, I guess we won't be getting any finery. Glad y'all enjoy it, but clearly it's not for me. Target. I got a different tripod. Unfortunately, I spent more money than I wanted to, but. If I don't like it, I'm going to take it back and just, it is what it is. I really wanted something a little bit more compact and I might still take it back and order something off of Amazon. But we shall see. But I tried the finery perfumes you guys are raving about in um, Target. I didn't like any of the scents. I'm real picky. I like the one, I think it was called Wildflowers. But what I didn't like is that if it's flowers, why are you putting apples in there? Ain't nobody asked you to add no damn apples. <laughs> I don't like food scents. And so for me, Jalen didn't smell the apple, but I smelled the apple. I have a very keen nose. So I can pick up on individual scents. And I didn't like it. Like It's funny though, because one of my scents, the one from, um, what's that place called? Uh, Zara, the Zara Garbage. That has vanilla in it, but you cannot smell the vanilla at all. Like, whatever is, the vanilla is like the back note, like, far back. Like, I would never have thought there was vanilla in there, because I, I hate the scent of vanilla, or the smell of vanilla. But, that one, I could smell the green apple. And so, if it was more flowery, more floral, I probably would have got it. But all the rest of them, I didn't, I didn't like the smell of them. It just was not. To me, they didn't smell like women's scents. Like, I do like some masculine scents, because a lot of my, like, uh, what's it called? Woman by whomever that is. They're, that's more masculine. My Gucci by Gucci is more masculine. But when it comes to like spring and summer, I want something more feminine, more floral. Um, like my Chloe No Bad and my, um, the one I got from Amber Crombie. And um, the one from Zara could be either or. Probably won't wear it as much um, this summer. But I'm about to run out of my one from Amber. Anthropology. I don't know why I can't say that. But I do need to find me some more florally scents that I actually like. I'm very picky. That's why I only have so many perfumes. Um, and I know it's bad to buy the same thing over and over again. But you like what you like, okay? Why waste money when you know what you like? Mm -hmm. That's what I be thinking, right? Yeah. But Jenna, what? So Jenna wears a lot of nice scents. Like she be coming out of the house smelling like baby. I was like, dang girl. Like, mm -hmm. But yours are a lot of floral scents too, right? Yeah. Well, one of them are. It's more of like a. I can't describe. I can't uh -huh. really describe smells. So uh -huh. You have to bear with me. Uh -huh. It smells more like I say more like masculine, mm -hmm. and my other ones are more feminine. Uh -huh. I only have one that smells a bit like masculine, uh -huh. and the others just smell a bit floral. Some of them are quite strongly spray though. So like, for these that you bought, did you take a chance on, or you knew how they smelled before you got them? I knew how I smelled before I got them. Some of them they were already out, so I had to take a little whiff of it. Where did you buy them? Oh, you bought them at Rue uh, Twenty One. Rue Twenty One. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. And then one of them I took a chance, and it mm -hmm. smells good. Thank yeah. God. That's <laughs> it. Thank God. But yeah, so now we're gonna go to the beauty supply store. Look, Jalen, don't let me forget. We have no more washing powder, and I need to wash my sheets. 
Okay. They changed my bedding for spring and summer, and All I right. went to go wash, and there was Nathan in there, because y'all don't let nobody know nothing. Just lose, use the last washing powder, and don't say nothing. <laughs> Not Nathan. So then, when the person who bought the wash powder go to wash their clothes, they ain't got none. Where they do that at? Where they do at that? my house. That's where they do it at. At my house. That's where they do it at, y'all. At the house that that I have rent that I pay for and bought the washing powder, they do me wrong. Do me dirty, dirty, dirty. They also didn't have my lip liner, y'all. My correct tone. No, they didn't. She looking for a lip liner, mm -hmm. something darker than what she got now. Yeah. What color is that? This that is a... like a dark red. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. I can't describe colors even, but so. But when you line, when you wear red, you line it in red. You gonna line it in brown, or you have like, other brown like, colors? Like I'm gonna line it in like a dark brown, cause I saw, I saw multiple girls do like the, this type of like lip liner style, and I wanted to try. It. Look at her watching TV. Cute. What you was on YouTube? Yeah, I was on. No, I was on Pinterest because you know Pinterest, Pinterest got everything. Mm -hmm. So I looked up a tutorial. Pinterest hooked me up. I was like, "Bet, let me go find my colors. <laughs> let me go find my colors real quick." Oh, we. So yeah, so let's go and get this hair. She gonna get her hair, and I'm gonna get mine. And we're gonna be braided up, okay? Because ain't nobody got time. We tired. We over it. We over it. Oh no, they. Girl, they knocked down the shell. Dang, I was just over here a couple weeks ago. I wonder if it's still gonna be a shell. Or is that? Or a, that look like a waffle house, don't it? <laughs> yeah, it looks like it built like a waffle house. Dang! You think they're gonna? Re Maybe they're rebuilding the shell yeah. and reposition it because it was tell how you get in and out of there. Well, they're probably no. It looks like they're break there now. Why well, does it look like they're tearing it down? Because if they were, they would have done it. Already. They did because remember it wasn't over there. It was like in the middle of the parking lot. They already tore oh. it down. Oh! And now they're rebuilding. Well, the it sign is still up. I so know, I'm so sure. maybe it's still going to be maybe a Maybe they're like redesigning it. Uh, yeah, making it so. look more good and not tough. Good child, maybe. Never know around up in here. Anyway, mm -hmm. we're just going to the beauty supply. We'll be back, y'all. Bye-bye. I'm trying to smell those smells, but I don't like it. <laughs> well, my niece house, y'all met her with the two babies who be running around like crazy folks. Open up, losers! FBI, open up! <laughs> Is that Tony? <laughs> Who oh, walking no. like that? Oh, no. Damn. One of them steps, though. Right? We like to come in today. Okay. <laughs> He's so cute. No. Okay. Come Come <laughs> What you doing that little ponytail? What are you going in the What you doing? What did you do to him? He been eating. Oh, they been eating some Oh, Hey, cheese. Yep. I see you clean out your toilet. Say hi. Cheese. <laughs> Batty one and two. Batty one and two. Right there. <laughs> All right, guys. It's way later than we thought we would be getting back to the house, child. It was almost 8.30. So, we did pick up Jalen's hair. And we did pick up my hair. Don't, it ain't going to fit in there. And, uh, so, I'll probably do my start my braids probably tomorrow. And then I told you guys I picked up a tripod, but I feel like this tripod is about to be just as big as the one I got in my hand. <laughs> I got a Sunpack Versapod. So it's supposed to be able to do a phone, a camera, and a GoPro. I wanted something compact, but child, I don't know if this is going to be a small. It feels like it's going to be the same size or whatever. Um, and then I did get... The Tide Pod, somebody got the hiccups. Well, please wash your face before you go to school tomorrow looking like you got somebody punched you on the side of your face. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, so my niece was trying on like different makeups and she put this dark mm -hmm. bronze. It looked like somebody punched Jalen on the side of her face. Right. Start shutting down the room for the night. It's a little messy in here. It's a little messy. A little messy in here. Let me get settled and I'll be back. 
All right, you guys, we are winding down for the night. I am in my PJs, as you guys can see. I'm actually about to sit on my couch because my sheets are just went in the dryer. <laughs> it is way past my bedtime. What time it is? It is freaking 9.49. It's 9.49. It's a little cold in here, so I do have my little fireplace on to warm me up a little bit. My house is like, there's a big tree, so over my room it gets like really, really cool. And it's like cool out in the kitchen, so I just turn on my little heater to warm me up a little bit. Um, since I'm not in the bed. I used to have an extra pair of sheets, but they got old and I threw them away and I never replaced them. And that's bad on me because I do this sometimes. I'll be, instead of waiting until like Sunday to wash my sheets or Saturday morning I sometimes I just be like I need to wash them now for whatever reason and I used to, when I did it during the middle of the week or at night time right before bed or something crazy like that don't ask me why I did it I should have waited till tomorrow morning that part but I would have an extra pair of sheets so it didn't matter I would just take those off put them in the washing machine whether they was done or not I could put a new set on and here I am looking stupid <laughs> Because I don't have a second set. So I'm sitting here trying not to go to sleep. But if I fall asleep on this couch. It's going to be a wrap y'all. It's going to be a wrap. Um, so yeah. Today was pretty eventful. Not too much. It is just a work day. So I don't really do a lot on work days as you guys know. And I don't do a lot in general. So it's just a regular day in the life. Getting ready for the little one to go to prom. I'm so excited literally be a week away from prom on saturday and that'll be all over and done anticipation pictures everything will be done it's just gonna look amazing i can't wait to see how everything comes together she's gonna look absolutely stunning of course because she's gorgeous already so you know just add a little extra and voila voom voila, voila, there you go um <laughs> that part so yeah so that's all we did like i said i got my hair i wanted to start my hair today but i got back so late it's too late for me to be talking about some i'm tired like even while i'm sitting here waiting for my sheets i could have maybe done it but i know i'm not gonna put all the the effort i would need to put into it to make sure it looks nice so i'm not gonna start tonight i may start tomorrow um doing the back it usually takes me like, I'll usually start, like, at nighttime, like, after work, and then I'll finish up on, like, Saturday mornings. That's what I usually do, so maybe that's what we'll do tomorrow. Maybe, like, um, we'll get started during the day, and maybe we can have the back done by the time Jalen gets out of school, and I take her to work, and then maybe I can finish the front the rest of the day, so maybe I can finish it tomorrow. It just depends on how I get started. I don't have a lot of meetings tomorrow. I have my therapy appointment and then I do have one meeting and then I have nothing else and I can just work on my build and braid or twist at the same time so it's not a big deal but yeah um, I don't think I have anything else planned for the weekend besides trying to get somebody to come out and quote me for my deck to replace the deck on the front or repair it or do whatever people do because I know sometimes they say the structure is good you just need to replace like all the wood on the top of the like post and stuff are fine I don't know the the uh, the technical term of it so hopefully somebody won't say they have to come tear it up and then put it back together they, they may have to i don't know so i'm trying to get a couple of quotes this weekend so i've reached out to one guy who may be able to come out this weekend the other guy didn't answer though I, there they folks go again have a damn business and don't be one to answer folks so you obviously don't want no money because don't come to me three weeks from now talking about, oh, you ready to give me a quote? No, I was ready for you to give me a quote three weeks ago. No reply. That part. So, <laughs> let's see how this going to go. And then, like I said, I live in a rural area, so a lot of people don't come out of here. So, I don't have a lot of choices. Which is also bad because then they can just hike up their prices to whatever they want to do because there's not a lot of competition either. So, that's a downside to living here. But I love living out here, y'all. My three acres are so peaceful. There's no through traffic. I live on a dead end. It's just me and my neighbor. And it's so peaceful and it's so quiet and serene. I love it. I would not trade it for the world. I don't think I could ever live in the city again. I'll visit the city, but I don't think I want to live in the city. 
not in this city of Birmingham, but like maybe Chicago or New York somewhere, maybe. But they're expensive, so maybe not that part. Um, but that's all I'm doing, you guys. I'm not doing anything else tonight. I am going to wait on these sheets or either the sheets going to be waiting on me. One of the two. Because <laughs> if I fall asleep until I wake up, it's a wrap. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. Because a new video will be out on Friday. So I'll see you guys later. Deuces. <laughs>